Hey guys and welcome back to Frenchie's Road Trip video. If my voice sounds a bit croaky, I am suffering with the cold. Um, yeah. So welcome back, a very warm welcome to all our new subscribers. We hope you're enjoying these videos uh, and yeah, we hope you hope you're enjoying the channel. Uh, more videos to come, news, uh, some bad news, let's do the bad news. So unfortunately, uh, Ben's car, the Freelander 2, um, XS is going to be off the road for some time. Unfortunately, the PCV valve or oil breather has, uh, has clogged up. Um, it should be changed and it was on the list to do. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to it in time. And as a result, it's now blew the rear crankshaft seal, um, which is unfortunate because Ben had changed that. And there was a, we didn't do a video on it because it would have been probably a very, very long video. But Ben had to take the gearbox out, you put a new clutch in, etc. Um, so that's gone. The front crankshaft seal, that's gone as well, which has caused mess and oil all of Kanban water pump. So that's, um, yeah, so that's, that's unfortunately taken Ben's car off the road, unfortunately, for the time being. Um, that said, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, hopefully very soon he will have it back up and running and we will be able to bring you some more um, laning videos. Um, the good news, we like the good news. So the good news, today's video is all about uh, how to change the front diff um, PTU um, power transfer unit oil on a Freelander 2. Um, mine is definitely overdue and you will see that in the video very shortly. And what we use to extract it, um, pretty simple process, not, not too bad, pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy this video. Keep liking um, the videos, give us a comment, um, subscribe, and um, we will see you shortly in another video very soon. Cheerio. So yeah, to, to gain access to uh, the PTU, take the um, belly pan off. Right, so we're under, underneath the uh, Freelander 2 and that bolt there you can see that is your PTU um, what do you say, it's PTU it's a drain and fill plug isn't it? yeah, drain and fill plug well, fill plug really, technically it's not a drain plug but that's your fill plug for your PTU that, that bolt there we can, we can see there um, yeah, a bit tricky to get to uh, what size um, attachment did you use? Oh, 13. 13. 13 mil on there. But yeah, quite difficult to get to. Um, so yeah, I think Ben's going to take that off and then we're going to use an oil pump and extract the oil from within the PTU to then uh, replace it with some new, new oil. So Ben's um, putting a small uh, rubber piece of tubing inside the PTU. Um, try and get it in as far as you can. Work its way in. Work its way in somewhere. Try and uh, hopefully get out as many, much oil as we can. Okay, I've got to persevere quite a bit, um, pushing the 
tubing. Um, there's a certain angle, isn't there? You've got to to be able to get it at. Which, yeah, it's quite tricky, but with some perseverance, you can you can get it in. Right, so with our uh, battery connected, um, hopefully we will start to see what comes out. So with the pump going, let's see if it draws. Oh, there it is. It's coming through very slowly. Let's see how much we can drain out. Thing yet. Oh, it's working its way around the long hose. Blimey, we could be here for some time. But it is drawing it through, which is what we want to see. So this is t probably 10 year old PTU oil, right in there, dear oh dear. Now Land Rover say this has to be done every 10 years but that's for a very long time. Okay, we will come back in a short while when this hopefully is finished um, try and draw out as much as we can and we will show you the end result Start it up. Right, so that's the um, oil extraction done as much as we can. We even uh, fiddled around with the, the tube um, to try and get out as much more as possible. But I think we got a healthy, about there, what's that? Yeah, about 500, 500 mil, I think. It's not quite a level circuit, so put that, that down there. That's a bit more level. Yeah, so we got, we got about four, four and a half, five hundred mil of oil out of the PTU, uh, which isn't isn't bad. Uh, and yeah, that's um, that's very gloopy. In fact, it's very much like treacle, isn't it? Very much like treacle. Very gloopy. Um, compare that to the new oil. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can you can see the difference. So let's have a look at the new oil. So yeah, crystal clear, nice and clear compared to what's just come out. So I think it's definitely time for a change. So yeah, we'll load up the um, the syringe and uh, hopefully put in as much as what we got out of new oil. Right, so you join us back under the car. Ben's got the fresh oil in the syringe. And we're just gonna pop that back in there. Let's go and zoom in a bit. There we go. And tidy up the focus for you. There we go. I'll probably put the light on as well, that might help. There we go. <laughs> so put the whole, as much of the tube in as you can. It's going to be very fiddly. But, uh, there we go. Yep, yeah. yeah, as far as I can see. I've got to keep an eye on it, make sure. Oh, there we go, it's going in. Nice slow rate, don't want it sloshing out but yeah 
seems to be going in nicely. So we've got 500 mil in the syringe because we took out 500 mil in the jug. Okay, just a little bit more just to make sure we're happy with how much is going back in. Can that do? Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's dribbling now. I can see it. That's it. Right, wait for that to stop dribbling completely. And then we're tightening it back up. Right, so we've got a new, new washer with the bolt. There we go. Pop that back up in there. It's very, very fiddly. Was it 10 mil, was it? 13. Oh, 13. 13 mil um, socket you'll need on there. And just making sure you do that as tight as you can. Marvellous. Yeah, another job on the Freelander 2. Now just the tidy up.